my beauties and welcome back to my channel if you are just joining me then hi my name is Zatvi thank you so much for stopping by and supporting me if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell I upload videos every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday <laughs> think <laughs> no every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday so please stay tuned if you are interested in all things makeup this is where you need to be um, in today's video I have actually created this soft glam Christmassy look we've got the neutral tones the definition in the eyes and the glitter so if you are interested in seeing how I created this look I have a full tutorial on this video from eyes to face so please keep on watching and I don't want to make the intro too long so let's get straight into the video and I'll see you guys on the other side. So I'm going to be using this Open Glory Archery Brow and this is more like a flip pen as opposed to a pencil and this is very like the Boy Brow by Glossier. So basically what I'm going to do is create hair like strokes on my brows because I want a more natural look for the brows as opposed to a thick more dramatic brow as you can see I'm just creating really small hair like strokes and I'm not even lining the underline of my brow I'm using the hair like strokes in order to create my arch you also want to keep the the tip of the brush at the end so you want to keep it facing forward as opposed to on the side I'm just going to do my other brow off camera in order to save time and then I will be back. Okay guys, so my brows are on now and we're going to get straight into the eyes. Firstly, I'm going to prime the eyes. So I'm just going to prime the eyes with my NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Custard. It's always important to dab as opposed to swipe because you want all of that um, coverage on the lid in order to get a powerful colour on the eye. So for the first colour I'm just going to go in with a crease brush like this. And I'm going to go into the shade New Yorker. And all I'm going to do is focus a lot of the product on the outside and kind of bring it in <coughs> to the inner corner. I'm also going to bring that onto the lid. So from the crease to the lid and into the crease. So once you keep building, you're kind of left with something like this. However, obviously this kind of does need blending out, which we will get onto next. So next I'm going to go in with a fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to blend out the out edges of New Yorker and don't worry too much about getting loads of product here because we are going to cut this part of the crease and you don't need to put in all the work if we're going to get rid of that work in the end anyway. I'm going to go in with OG. and do the exact same 
just want to start deepening up now. Then going back in with the fluffy brush. So we really want to start deepening the crease now and getting a lot more definition. And I, so I've got myself a small pencil crease brush. And this we're going to be able to be a bit more precise with our application. And that way we're going to be able to get the coverage that we want. So I'm going to go into the shade 1988 which is here. And I'm going to start focusing that on the outer part of the eye and just on the lid here and up to the crease. And then of course you can also bring it in slightly into the crease with no extra product on the brush. I'm going to go back in with a crease shade with nothing on it and start blending 1988 out. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth with the pencil brush, putting the product on and then blending it out with the grease brush. I'm just going to back in with the softer crease, crease brush. Okay, guys. So once your eye is somewhat like this, we're going to start. We're going to go in and cut the crease here. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this Zoeva definer brush. And we're going to go back in with the same concealer I used before. And I'm going to cut the crease from the inner corner up until where the brown is. So you guys, once you're done cutting the crease, your eye should look somewhat like this. And we're just going to go in. So next we're going to go in with a flat shader brush. So once you've got the, uh, cut the crease the way you want it, I'm going to go in with a matte white. I'm going to be using Desert Dusk. And this is from the Huda Desert Dust palette. And I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush and I'm going to start patting this on the concealer to set that in place. So now we're at the stage like this, obviously you can see here, line, this line here is very blunt. So I'm going to go back in to the Amrezi palette and I'm going to take the shade 1988 back onto this crease brush and literally just dab the tiniest bit on there. And I'm going to start using this to help blend the two and by doing that I'm just going to go from 1998 on the lid and flick towards the concealer. Now that I've got this eye done, I'm just going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I will be back. So once your eyes are at this stage, then this next part is completely optional. But you can actually go in with a bit of glitter 
and place it kind of where the fade is it's just something jazzy and and something different and also it's very nice um during christmas time everyone loves a little bit of glitter so so just to add something christmasy to the look um i'm gonna go in the shade gemini and i'm just going to get that on the tip of my brush and lightly place that on the fade also don't forget to use your brush to fade the glitter out so that it's not just a clump of glitter so guys once the eyes are all done i'm just going to brush off any glitter or residual powder underneath the powder fallout underneath the eyes and now we're going to move on to the face for primer i'm going to go in with this small baby baby wishful oil and um, this is the get even rose oil and i'm just going to focus that more towards the inner part of the face and then drag it out so guys for foundation i'm going to go in with the huda faux filter stick and i'm probably going to mix that um, with another foundation i'm going to put this all over my face I've actually got a review coming up on this foundation so stay, stay tuned for that and if you aren't already subscribed then please subscribe if you are interested in seeing my review. Obviously it is Christmas time so you do want a nice full coverage. Even though Christmas is different this year, I still feel like it's nice to make the effort and get dressed even if you are just going to be in the house. If anything, that's more of a reason to kind of get dressed because you've got nothing else to do. So you may as well make the most of it. And then keeping on with the lines of kind of full coverage, want it to last a long time and kind of look glam. I'm going to go in with the Huda Tantor. This is like a cream, this is a cream bronzer. I've got it in the shade light. And I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Angle Brush. And I kind of uh, focus the product, applying the product on the, this part of the brush and not so much all over. So I want it to be quite precise in my application so that I can, that I have more control. Um, especially with a cream product, you wanna make sure you've got a lot of control because it's hard to, it makes it easier to blend. So for now, I'm just going to place the contour where I want it. Um, this is just my way of cream contouring. Uh, I do actually have another highlight and contour routine on my channel. It was one of the first videos that I've done. So if you're interested in that, I will have that linked for you so that you can go and watch that after you watch this. So I just like to place my contour on my face first. Obviously you can see that it's quite messy at the moment but we're going to fix that. I'm going to go in with a, a thin brush like this to contour the nose. I always like to do the tip of my nose to make my nose appear shorter. And then I do the sides to make my nose appear slimmer. And I'm just going to do the jawline. I like to have quite an angular looking jawline so I don't do anything out of the ordinary I just follow my natural jawline and for concealer I want something quite light and not necessarily white bright but just you know lighter than my foundation I'm going to go in with the Shiseido concealer this is the self uh, refreshing synchro 
uh, skin concealer and I've got the shade 201 I'm going to go in with a brush and I like to blend out my concealer first and then I kind of blend into the contour at the same sort of time and I feel like that's how you achieve a, a, a more blended finish not to worry if you mess up your eyeshadow slightly because we'll go back in to what I like to do is I always go back in to the eyeshadow as my last step of my routine now here's the trick to blend everything together and this is like the easiest way to blend everything together I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush that I use and if you use a sponge then go back in with the sponge that you use to blend out your foundation I'm just going to pat this brush all over those lines and it's going to help blend everything seamlessly and don't be afraid to blend over the contour as well um, obviously it's going to, if you compare this side to this side it's a lot lighter now however it's a lot more natural yet it's still giving me the definition that I was after in the first place gives me a really smooth under eye just to go in with the loose powder now, I'm really really lazy so I'm just going <laughs> to spray my sponge all over with my all nighter and I'm just going to go in with the Revolution Banana Bright Loose Powder and I'm going to put that in my hand and I'm going to use this, the flat side of my sponge to press very very lightly under my eyes now another trick is you do not want to have too much product on your bra on your sponge this is like a lot but I've pressed it into the sponge so that I'm left with an ex just the excess and not too much and then I'm just going to lightly press where all my pores are next we're going to go in with the contouring I'm using the MAC um, highlight and contour palette and I'm going to go in with this grey shade here which I would have featured in my previous contour video next I'm going, going to go in with this crease brush it's quite a dense crease brush and it's not too soft but I'm going to go in with the grey tone I usually use the Benefit Hula Bronzer and that is my favourite way to contour my nose I'm just going to use this for today and I'm just going to start on the tip go back in with the grey contour and dab some of it off onto my hand because I don't want it to look too harsh and with a light hand I'm just going to go up on the bridge yes I'm just going to go in with a fluffy powder brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to dust off this excess um, I didn't mean to put so much excess onto my face, it just kind of happened. And I'm just going to blend the rest of the excess all over the face for an extra blend. Now a trick that I like to use in order to achieve a much more soft contour, but yet still be defined, is I go in with a bronzer. Um, this bronzer I'm using is actually a face powder, but it's a very, very seamless powder. So the whole point is just to find a powder that's quite seamless. I do love the matte palette but sometimes I do find that it comes up a little bit chalky and this kind of sorts that out so I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush like this and I'm just going to get as much product in there as possible tap a little bit off and then I start at the contour where it's exactly on top of it it goes slightly up and then come down next I'm going to go in with blush I'm using this blush brush from Saweva and I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm blush it's such a beautiful pink blush. It's quite hard to see on the video. There we go. That's more true to colour. Um, the kind, the lights kind of wash out slightly. I'm just going to go in with blush. I kind of apply it quite lavishly, but that's because I love blush. So now we need to finish off the eyes. I'm going to use the Huda pen, uh, Lifeline, not Lifeliner. This is the yeah the lifeliner this is the I'm using the um, coal pencil side and I'm just going to apply this to the waterline
because this is quite a soft look I still want a bit of drama around the eye so I'm going to frame the eye completely and I'm going to go from the inner corner right into the outer corner and do it as tidy as you can also no, just a side note I do love her products I love everything that she comes out with I've got her foundation, primer, eyeshadows, everything this is one of the products that I've never been able to get along with as much it's just a side note eyeliner is quite good but you have to get used to the formula because it's quite a sticky formula and the, this pencil um, cold pencil it breaks on me all the time it snaps when I'm using it so it's just a little disclaimer there to be careful when you're applying it and um, be quite gentle with it because it's quite a soft pencil so next I'm just going to go back into the eyes very slightly not too much because I feel like they look they look pretty fine to me but I just want to add a bit more definition and I'm going to go back into the shade 1988 which is here on the tip of my pencil brush and I'm just going to add it to the outer edge just to deepen it slightly and now for the under eyes I'm just going to go back into the shade New Yorker and I'm just going to go on the tip of the shader brush and I'm going to do this under my eye here for highlighter I'm going to go in with the Amrezy X Anastasia highlighter I love this highlight because it's got quite a wet look to it also just to be extra since it is Christmas I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty highlighter palette and I'm going to go in with the shade uh, Zanzibar which is quite a pink shade kind of on the same lines as the Nars Orgasm so that's what it looks like and I'm just going to use the same Zoeva brush and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks like a blush but to keep this um, look soft glam I would probably go in with a lip liner and I'm going to use the shade Trophy Wife by Huda And then to finish that off, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Soft Matte in the shade Nude Embrace. I'm just going to apply this to the middle of the lips. I would probably recommend going in with a red. The two, My two favourite reds at the moment are from Huda and Fenty. So this is the Huda one. It's quite a, a true, true red. And this is in the shade El Cinco, and that's a matte red. And this is also a matte red lip paint from um, Fenty Beauty, and it's in the shade Uncensored. I'm just going to show you this one. So that's what it looks like. It's quite red. I'll just swatch the hooded one as well so you can see. But that's what's going to give you a bit more of a Christmassy vibe and a bit more of a glam vibe too. I do love the lip paint by Fenty and the shape of the um, wand is just amazing to line the lips. So it's like you don't really need a lip liner for this one, it's like a two in one. Um, but that's the two shades I would recommend if you wanted to go a bit more Christmassy. And next. I'm going to finish, go back to the eyes. I'm so sorry that I like chopping and changing. But um, obviously, like I said, this is my version of soft glam. Soft glam doesn't always necessarily mean uh, fake, fake eyelashes. At the moment, I've actually been on a natural lashes sort of vibe. And I've just been wearing loads and loads of mascara. Luckily, thankfully, I have long eyelashes. So for me, I can get away with it. But for those that would prefer to wear fake lashes, I'd Ardell do a lot of natural type lashes and so do Kiss um, makeup but for today I will, I am just going to go in with mascara 
um, for the reason being that I have been enjoying my natural lashes. So for mascara, I do have a combination of lash mascaras that I like, and it's these three. So I've got the, Na the NARS Climax Extreme, the NARS Climax Normal, the original version, and a, a Galane mascara, Galane, Galane mascara. Um, I don't know the name of this one, but the Galane mascara I actually use for the bottom lashes. So I'm just going to do my bottom lashes. So I'm just going to start with the original NARS Climax on the top lashes all right it's because you've got this white cut crease here and you can easily see the lashes it's when you do like a full dark smoky eye I always recommend that you wear fake lashes for the reason being that the black on black you're not going to be able to see your lashes also for the soft glam look if you didn't want to wear a full, a full length strip lash you could actually just add a couple of individuals in between or just on the ends to add that uh, soft glam dramaticness and then I'm going to go in with the climax extreme and last but not least, I'm so sorry guys that this video has been like eyes, face, lips, back to the eyes. Um, <laughs> it's been a little bit crazy like, all over the place. But I've been trying to get back into filming so I've not filmed for a while. And I'm just going to lightly brush the hairs up on my brows. And I am unfortunately using a discontinued product. However, this product is available on Amazon and um, it's the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler. It's like one of the best brow gels I've ever used. It's got fibers in there to make your brows look filler and it's obviously tinted and it's not tinted too much. It doesn't clump up. I just love this brow, brow gel and I've not found one to beat it so I have to keep going on Amazon to buy it. So you guys that is the end of this video i really hope you did enjoy this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really did enjoy creating this christmasy soft glam look well soft glam in, soft glam in my opinion and um, if you do have any other christmasy looks that you would like me to do please don't forget to comment down below and i will do them for you whether it's a certain color a picture don't forget to dm me on twitter or instagram i'll leave my handles down below so that you can catch me on there and yeah i do want to start posting on youtube a lot more regularly now three times a week hopefully fingers crossed um i want to be posting tuesdays thursdays and saturdays so stay tuned for that um which brings me on to my next point if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by and watching and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell i'd really appreciate your support me being a small youtuber and yeah i don't have anything else to say except for that i really appreciate you stopping by and supporting me and i love you guys and i'll see you all in the next one Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are just joining me,